So let's upload Amazon A plus content together. You'll have to log into your KDP account. And if you did, you'll see on your left hand side, all of your books are listed here. But where we need to go is marketing. So scroll all the way up and in the top right hand corner, you'll see marketing. Click there. This will take you to this page and you want to scroll down to the third panel that says A plus content. Come over to where it says choose a marketplace, click on the drop down and amazon.com. Click on manage A plus content and then that'll bring you here. So now, as you can see, I have a ton of A plus content for some of my other books and if they're all listed over here on the left hand corner. But for today, we're going to upload A plus content together. So in the right hand corner, you'll see start creating a plus content, click on that button. And then you'll come over to the left hand side and you'll want to name it. So this is for my book sideliners and this is for the ebook. So I named it sideliners ebook and then I'll come to the middle where it says add module. So what's important here is that when you click on this, you already have an idea of what your visual aids will be. So I have one picture using three standard image dark text overlay or standard image light text overlay but it could be anything it could be the three quote box which would say standard three image text or it could be the four quote boxes which is standard four image and text or it could be a standard company logo now a lot of times people get confused with standard company logo and standard image and dark text overlay. And the reason why these are different because the dimensions of these are different. So I'm gonna click in here. So we already see the dimensions are broadcasted 600 by 180. So I'm gonna click in here and then I'm gonna click on add background image. So now at the top here on the left-hand side, this gives you the pixels. So remember the one that we just saw and now this one is 970 pixels by 300 pixels. If you've been uploading a module and you keep getting an error signal, you may be getting it because you're dragging and dropping the image into the wrong module. So let's do this one and, and see if it clears it up for you if you are having that problem. So you'll click here and that'll open up your files. And then you want to click on, remember the top one, because we're building it from the top down. So I'm gonna double click on my top one and it came right into the picture. Now there is no dark text overlay because we had our virtual assistants do this for us at Hourly Concepts powered by BookBrush and you don't have to add anything to it, it's already done. But what you do need to do is describe the image for customers using screen reading applications. And why that is so important is because it will allow those who um, can't see it to be able to have descriptive words for the image. So I'm going to just put in Friday night lights meet West side story. And then I click add. Then I'm going to come over here to the second module. Now, remember the way that I have it is I have three modules and that is one of them. So let me come in to the next portion and I will find my artwork. There we go. Adding the module, remember standard image and dark text overlay or the light text overlay because there is no text. Add the background. Make sure you get the middle module. And here I'm just gonna use those words again, a small town romance. I don't need anything more than that. I'm gonna click add. And then my third and final module. So I'll click here. I'm still staying with the standard image and dark text overlay or standard image and light text overlay because I'm piecing together one look. And then I'm gonna click on the bottom one, open it, and then I'll just say, but love is the game changer. And then I'm gonna add that. And so then these are my three modules, but because of this text overlay, you can't really 
visualize it too well. So that's okay. You'll come over here to preview and then that will piece it together so you can see what it looks like. And then that's my final image. I think everything looks great. I love it. I wanna see what it looks like on mobile. I'll click here, it just makes it a little smaller. Fantastic. Now, because I like it and I'm ready to go, the next step is applying the ASIN number. So I'm gonna click that. And then you'd go over to your book and you would just find the ASIN number, copy and paste it, and then bring it in here and click it where it says search. And it popped right up. Here it is. I'm gonna apply to the content. Applying this content will override the existing content on these detailed pages. Proceed. Yes, I'm gonna proceed, override. Fantastic. And then you wouldn't necessarily have to do that if it's your first time. Then you would click next, review and submit. Here it shows you one final time what it looks like just to make sure that's exactly what you envision it to look like on your page. And then over here, submit for approval, top right hand corner. Now, once you submit it, it says it can take anywhere from seven business days for your content to be reviewed. And if approved up to 24 hours for it to appeal on the de detailed page after it's published, I never had to wait seven days, so I don't know if you will either, but if you don't hear by seven business days, I would reach out to Amazon. Once you click submit for approval, it is submitted. And then it'll say your changes have been made, your content was successfully submitted for approval. Please remember to update your catalog content if changed. So there you go, that's how you would do it. And the same thing if you were adding quote boxes, you would have maybe one module here and then you'd have those three quote boxes and individually uploading each of those images. Now, if for some odd reason you don't see what you're looking for, please write us at hourlyconcepts at bookbrush.com and we can help you look further into this. Thanks so much for being part of our subscription plan and working with our amazing designers here at Bookbrush. Have a wonderful rest of your day.